Hey amigos, Garth Costa for Beard Brand and today I'm going to talk about bad habits. Everyone has bad habits, some that you don't even know you have. Maybe some of you already know I'm a recovered alcoholic, an addict, I've been in recovery for just over seven years. I'm going to share with you my personal experience, I'm going to break it into steps on how I broke some of these habits. Number one, you have to want them to go. So connect the mind to the art and really feel it. Ask yourself, be honest with yourself if you really want this bad habit to go. You do, great. Number two, make up a list of all the reasons you want this bad habit to go. Try to make the list positive and as long as you can. I'm gonna give you the example of when I stopped smoking. Why do I want to stop smoking? I want to be healthier. I want to breathe better. I want to be able to smell things as they should. I want to smell the flowers, the fresh coffee, the fresh um, bread. I want to taste food better. I want my taste spots to be active. So you have the list. Now put that in your mind and say it over and over again. It's all about trying to get more positive with what you, we're doing. Step three choose now that you have all the information you need to make the choice and it's a bit of your willpower so you need to act which takes us to the next step number four take action now i have all the information about my bad habit i've turned it into a positive but i still need some extra help so the action is I go to the doctor, doctor, doctor. I go to the doctor and ask for help. So I need some nicotine replacement. I've got the will. I want to stop, but I need the nicotine replacement. So with the doctor, you come to whatever patches. Let's say you need to do the course. So now you have a plan. Once you have that plan, you just need to keep positive and stick to the plan. Number five, tell somebody. Um, tell your partner, tell someone close to you about your plan, about the progress on your plan, what you have to do every day about it, how you feeling about it, struggles, the positives. Just tell somebody. It helps to keep in check and you listen to the feedback. Step six, recover or failure. I didn't do it the first time, so I assume other people probably fail too. It's okay to not do it at the first time as long as we learn. You had a cigarette, go back. Don't beat yourself up, just be positive about it. Set the goal again. Get help with partner or a friend, someone close to you. But set that plan back in motion. Number seven, reward yourself. Make sure you reward yourself regularly. Make sure you congratulate yourself every day. How well you're doing by sticking to the plan. Even give gifts to yourself, like little gifts, you know, and make a plan like for when you over this bad habit, when you're done with it, just give yourself a big reward. I don't know, a trip somewhere, you know, just for a couple of days or just, just reward yourself. Well, is it that simple? Most of the time, no, it isn't. And it's not easy to break an habit. Um, but this has worked for me. Uh, and it can work for you. You just need to apply these principles. And this will work in any bad habit. It's just, like I said, about applying these principles. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. And... Um, Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and stay cool.